Joining me now live from London on the line is author and journalist Mr Afshin Ratansi. Mr Ratansi, thank you very much for being on the top five with us. Now, on the issue of an attack, we were speaking to our correspondent now and he said a question that was raised by a lot of reporters today in Damascus was uh, what would be achieved, what would be the objective of a Western-led attack in Syria? I mean, we had some interesting remarks by Francois Hollande just now. He said that uh, the civil war in Syria, quote, is a threat to global peace and that international law shouldn't be used as a pretext uh, when we're seeing massacres take place to protect the perpetrators. Yes, those statements they indicate that international law isn't something that Paris is too keen on. I'm speaking to you from London where uh, there's been an emergency meeting taking place uh, not, uh, not a mile away from where I'm talking from. How ironic that uh, as regards objectives the National Security Council in Britain was set up after 9-11 to uh, protect Britain from al-Qaeda-linked atrocities and the threat of them. And here is Britain, uh, avowedly, uh, threatening to go in with the United States to support al-Qaeda-linked militancy. I think uh, even American generals are expressing their concern that the objectives of any uh, attack by uh, these warships in the Mediterranean uh, what are those objectives? You know, that's the thing. A lot of people are asking, uh, we have to put the question of who's going to benefit from this. Uh, and a lot of observers uh, are now pointing the finger at Israel. They're saying, who could have provided uh, these, uh, you know, chemical substances and chemical weapons? They're saying that this is a pre-planned scenario. And Russia has also been clearly uh, saying that. So, so do you think we should be thinking about a scenario here similar for instance to the one in Iraq and this actually could mean that that military attack is actually going to happen uh, you know whatever the cost as regards chemical weapons usage regardless of uh, Israel and Saudi uh, elements supporting uh, uh, the threat of war to Obama's advisors Samantha Power and Susan Rice we know who uses chemical weapons the CIA declassified the document as the U.S. told Saddam to use them against Iran. We know uh, the United States used them in Vietnam, in Cambodia, in Fallujah, in Iraq. Uh, it's not uh, uh, normal for any country except the United States uh, to use chemical weapons. I think, of course, white phosphorus in Fallujah. No, I think uh, what uh, the international community needs to do now is urgently uh, support Ironically, the Syrian government, in their uh, quest to destroy the al-Qaeda-linked rebels, what started as a pro-democracy movement, uh, has uh, deteriorated into this Islamist uh, uh, al-Nusra front, uh, getting larger and larger. And uh, you know, these governments have to get... The chemical weapons thing is about as important as um, the yellow cake of Niger. Of course, those pictures were terrible and appalling, but, uh, you know, we must stop that from happening again. The way to stop that happening again, uh, one would have to say, based on uh, reports from Carla Del Ponte early in the world as being attacked, the UN weapons inspector, is to support the government of President Assad. Uh, and Mr. Rasanti, just quickly before we leave you, what's your prediction of what's going to happen from this stage on? I mean, Obama has been saying that without a UN mandate, we're not going to attack, but it looks like they are really prepared for it. Do you think that even if the United Nations doesn't say who used the weapons or doesn't give uh, that mandate, that we are going to see a military strike? American television is quoting the White House sources as saying the Tomahawk missiles will be fired in, uh, what, in, within 48 hours. So I suppose the important thing here is now uh, to get the relatives of the thousands of U.S. troops on the USS Marne, USS Gravely, Barry, and USS Ramage, tell them that the uh, ferocious attack back at them from Russian Onyx and Iskander missiles will be uh, pretty ferocious, and that the United States is endangering their troops uh, yet again in a uh, war that uh, will have no victors. Mr. Afshin Ratansi, author and journalist with us there on the line from London. Thank you very much.